Hello, and welcome to Lady Mossy, a Thief 2 fan mission by Marzek. Uh, as usual, it doesn't have a briefing, so I will read it out. My Perseo wants me to steal a family scepter from Lady Mossy's mansion in South Quarter. Well, I think it'll be done easily. He also showed me a small storehouse where I can get some interesting equipment. I should start there. I must try to get a full scepter. My Perseo needs it in one piece, not just a jewel of it. This is a big mansion, steel 1900 lit. When everything's done, he escapes through the canals. Ooh, normal heart. Expert is 2154, which is very precise. I'm guessing that's everything? Let's stick with hard. Uh, Expert didn't go so well on the last mission I tried. I was down to two hit points within uh, about as many minutes. So this must be the storehouse that uh, he mentioned. Where they're storing rubble and thieves equipment. Two mines, that's nice. And a locked chest here. We have the rope out, alright. It's nice. And can I pick these locks? No. Well then, hello, we have a uh, a way up that looks like it's wooden. Let's see if we can uh, get up there. Take that, that could be useful. Guards on the street. Not any windows we can get out from this roof or anything useful. No. Double check our objective. Steal the full scepter, steal 900 loot, and escape through the canals. Okay, so I don't think I even need to come back up to this roof. Let's gently drop off onto that ledge and onto that noisy metal machine. But uh, it's gentle enough that we didn't alert the guard, thankfully. Key there, and it's a little bright. Get moving before he comes too close. All right, so that's that's the storehouse we couldn't get into. So none of these doors are making sounds when they're locked when I throw them. It's unusual. Hmm. Wait, that guy isn't coming here, is he? This could be dangerous. Well, that didn't go too well, did it? Didn't actually manage to flash him in the face, so I wasted my flash bomb. Alerted the other guards. Well, I didn't get killed, so, so you know. I was hoping you would uh, leave the door open for me. I didn't re really want a lesson in messing with you. Alright, well... The dance of... Uh... Come out here now. I'm not kidding. Oh, there's an archer. That's not going to be good. you come from? Can you open this door for me again? Hold still. This won't hurt much. Well, he was still on alert because he saw me the instant uh, I stepped in. I 
Uh huh. Why, why are you carrying those bows and sharp pointy fly through the air things if you don't want to hurt me? Dang it. Alright, he's too much on alert and he's going to keep opening and closing the door. My hope was I could uh, tailgate him as he went back in there. But tailgating him doesn't seem like it's going to be a problem, so let's just uh, deal with him in traditional fashion. No, not that fashion, that's the wrong fashion. mission which I managed to start with very low health and no health healing items. Good, good. This is this is all going very much going to plan. Let's wake everybody up. Let's have them see I can't fit through there. Have them all open that. I don't know how to hide a key somewhere here. So we've got lots of doors with keys that I can't open. You want to check this canal grate. Alright, but do we have a map? No, we don't. I guess that's the mansion. Can we get in through this side door? Nope. Who's over there? Oh, hello. Who was seeing me and where were they seeing me from? Don't know. Oh, we can't get in there either. What? So, um, if every single door is locked and needs a key, then what am I supposed to do? That's a wooden door, isn't it? I mean, sorry, a metal door, right? This is definitely metal. I can't break that one down. I can try breaking down wooden doors. I think this is metal. Oh, I don't even have my sword. I can get people's attention, maybe get them to open doors, but... I'll see your bones. I'll see hey, what? Where did you come from? Okay, he has a key. This is good news, as long as he doesn't actually see my bones. He has a key. Is that going to get me to this guard room? Where was he? I don't know. Okay. Let's assume it's only relevant for this door. Or maybe not, let's pick it up again and try it on that door. Hmm. Nope. It's just got hmm hmm hmm. I mean maybe I can pick that lock. Hmm. No, I don't think I can pick this one. Where did the guard even come from? Well, that's a different key I need. So I guess my initial assumption was correct. If this guard, guard's key only opens that grate, then I'm not in any greater position to uh, get anywhere than I was before. Hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. 
Okay, it does open another door. Alright. Crates missing their physics, okay. That's locked. It's the guard's key open that one. Where is it? Mm. Nope. There's my long picks open it. Nope. Guess we're gonna have to look for more keys. Ah, uh, so was he patrolling up and down in here? And that's where he heard me from. Okay, well that makes sense as to what he was doing, but it doesn't help me break into anywhere to steal anything as far as I can tell. Like anything hiding down behind these crates. Nothing on the table, nothing in this corner. I really can't pick this. Alright, well, I mean, I'm back at square one again after uh, getting that guard's key. It hasn't got me anywhere more useful. I can see the open windows now. I kind of didn't notice them before. Hmm. No upper windows, right? Don't look accessible. Some of those might open, perhaps. This is a long shot. Yeah, I didn't expect that to work. All right. Um, there's this wooden edge around there, but that's not going to get me anywhere useful. Let's just double check before I go hunting on forums. Let's just double check I didn't miss anything in this room. Or at least didn't miss anything obvious. Mm. Maybe it's got like a key down the side of the bed. Or on top of the bed. It's always possible, but uh, not exactly. Uh, Hopeful. All right. Well, I guess I'm going to need a screenshot of this, right? So let's go find a screenshot first, and then I will go check the forums. <laughs> screenshot with all the bodies. Maybe not. Let's let's find the best-looking building in the mission. All right. Someone said these windows could be picked. Oh, there's. Is that wood around the top? There's wood around the top. Alright, so let's start on this side. I didn't notice that it was a wooden edge. I saw the uh, very much non wooden and then didn't notice it changed. So. Apparently, one, at least one of these windows can be picked. There's supposed to be a key for it somewhere as well. Oh, this is bad. Because I'm not going to be able to get my uh, arrow back. Am I? Without taking full damage. On the other hand, I can climb to the top and see into the void. Hmm, how do I get down without taking too much full damage? Uh, jumping mantle? Oh! Ah, I survived. That's good enough, isn't it? Alright, I can pick this one. Then how do I get in? Maybe... No? Well, I can pick it a little bit and then I can't pick it anymore. That's unusual. This one, yes. It's, doesn't quite make sense for shutters to have pickable locks, but I guess it's not unprecedented in the Thief universe. But that looks too narrow to get in. 
Oh, there's a key right there. Key from the window, okay. Uh, if I try to get my repair back now, I will die. So I guess I'll leave it. Mm. Alright, now we find out which doesn't open the mm. door closest to it, or the next one, which might seem mm. probable, but uh, mm. Mm. I guess we need to find out which key it does, which, uh, which, which door it does open. Or maybe it opens one of the other windows, mm. which would be awkward if... Mm. Hmm. Alright, let's try it on the windows. One of these doors. All right. Uh, I you know this, I see how they interpret the, the vertical bit of vertical contest. Does that give me another key? Can't see one. Guess I'm gonna have to try getting down without killing myself again. So I can check the other windows. Well, let's try, Oops, as a concept, I'm not sure if I can get far enough to drop onto it, but let's try sticking a rope arrow in that, and see if I can jump onto it. Ah! Or not. Seems like that's going to be difficult. How far across here can I go? Ah! Not quite. Hmm. I want to try and just jump onto something relatively low and then mantle it, right? <laughs> well, mantle it without dying first. Alright, that's not going to work. Uh, it's all a little too far. Let's try this corner again. Which is not too far, but because I went, actually overshot it last time, it's a little, a little hard to not go all the way. All right. I'm at least down here without being dead. I may have to do that one more time. So we're gonna have to go try that window key on these windows. And see if that gives me any more keys. Well, I don't see any more keys. Oh yes, there's one hiding there. Okay, key from the bathroom. Alright, let's leave the rope arrow again. Until I need it. Is this the front door? Finally! Inside at last. I mean, conceptually... The idea of having to climb up and go, you know, get through the windows um, is good. And Stop right there! Oh, Jennifer. dang it! This is not going to go well. All right, that's all right. You missed me the first time. I didn't expect you to be a spellcaster, to be honest. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, good concept of, of ha can't get in, but uh, need the to get a key from the window to break in. Um, because you know, climbing ropes and reaching through windows is really good thiefy kind of activity, right? But... I guess there's mages here. I mean, yeah, we knew that already, right? Well, there's the canals. Or sewers. Anyway, food is good. Food will give me back hit points. At least, at least a few hit points, hopefully. Well, one. 
I'll take what I can get at this point. I'm not exactly uh, flush with hit points generally. Oh, there's a pub, probably stretched loaf of bread. I think that's everything we're going to find here in the kitchen. Alright, let's try upstairs. That's locked. And I'm going to need another key, right? I bet. I don't think, I don't expect the key I've got mm. will work. Nope. Certainly not the guard's key. Oh, there's another floor too. What's going on here? What is going on here? Well, lots of paperwork to begin with. Dear Lord Goldlocker, our readership is unusually interested in your text from last week, dear Lord. There comes quite a lot of post to you. We are sending a parcel with it. Congratulations, and please answer on ten questions from it. Thank you, Executive Manager Dr. August Kowalski. Hello, where are these? So let's open them all. Hairbrush. More scrolls. Papyruses that I can't read, it's just blank I suppose. Flute that I cannot take. A book. The flag on the pavilion barely stirs, the water quivers gently in the sun. Like some young promised maiden dreaming on, half waking of the joy that shall be hers. The sails upon the mast spare cylinders are furled like banners when the war is done. The ship rocks chained on water's halcyon with idle sailors laughing passengers. O sea, among thy happy creatures deep, below a polyp slumbers through the storm, its long arms ever lifted, poised to dart. O thought, the hydra, memory, asleep through evil days in peace will lift its form and plunge its talons in thy quiet heart. So I've been reading, uh, sonnets. Or something, some kind of poetry. Oh, I throbbed something through the door, I shouldn't have been able to do that. What hempen homespuns have we swaggering here, so near the cradle of the fairy queen? What's a play to what? I'll be an auditor, an actor too, perhaps, if I see cause. Speak, Pyramus, Thisbe, stand forth. Thisbe, the flowers of odious savours sweet. Odious, odious. Odious savours sweet. So hath thy breath, my dearest Thisbe dear, but hark, a voice. Stay thou but here a while, and by and by I will to thee appear. A stranger Pyramus than e'er played here. O oh, weary night, O oh, long and tedious night, abate thy hour, shine comforts from the east that I may back to Athens by daylight. From these that my poor company detest, and sleep that sometimes shuts up sorrow's eye, steal me a while from mine own company. Yet but three, come one more, two of both kinds make up four. Here she comes, cursed and sad. Cupid is a knavish lad, thus to make poor females mad. Never so weary, never so in woe, bedabbled with the dew and torn with briars, I can no further crawl, no further go. My legs can keep no pace with my desires. Here will I rest me till the break of day. Heaven shield Lysander, if they mean a fray. On the ground, sleep sound, I'll apply to your eye, Gentle lover, remedy. When thou wakest, thou takest true delight in the sight of thy former lady's eye. And the country proverb known that every man shall take his own in your waking shall be shown. Jack shall have Jill, nought shall go ill. The man shall have his mare again, and all shall be well. Well, these people like their literature. How now, spirit? Whither wonder you? Over hill, over dale, through bush, through briar, over park, over pale, through flood, through fire. I do wander everywhere, swifter than the moon's sphere. And I serve the fairy queen to dew her orbs upon the green, the cowslips tall her pensioners be. In their gold coats spots you see, those be rubies, fairy favours, in those freckles live their savours. I must go seek some dewdrops here, and hang a pearl in every cowslip's ear. Farewell, thou lob of spirits, I'll be gone, our queen and all her elves come here anon. The king doth keep his revels here tonight. Take heed the queen come not within his sight, for Oberon is passing fell in wrath, because that she as her attendant hath a lovely boy, stolen from an Indian king, 
she never had so sweet a changeling, and jealous Oberon would have the child knight of his train to trace the forest wild. But she perforce withholds the loved boy, crowns him with flowers and makes him all her joy, and now they never meet in grove or green, by fountain clear or spangled starlight sheen. But they do square that all their elves for fear creep into acorn cups and hide them there. Either I mistake your shape and make you white, or else you are that shrewd and knavish sprite called Robin Goodfellow, and not you he that frights the maidens of the villagery. Skim milk and sometimes labour in the quern, and bootless make the heart breathless housewife churn, and sometimes make the drink to bear no balm, mislead night wanderers laughing at their harm. My dear, how long have you? How long is this going to go on? Uh, I will not read the rest. This is just all uh, bits of uh, Shakespeare and things and poems. Again, I'm accidentally dropping it through the book. So uh, various, various uh, poetry plays of. Uh, Ye oldy public domain lore that uh, does not relate to this mission. So I'll keep opening the rest of these to see if there will be aught within <laughs> uh, that I shall take through the door before my highlight doth Show me what lies within. That doesn't rhyme. Whoa, now we're on the good stuff. Meh. Alright, I think that's all of the good stuff here. Wait. Key from the library and another book. This one might not just be Shakespeare. My diary. It's strange, but it don't disturb me. She's doing something really crazy. She don't talk about it much. She don't. This plant, this strange big tree, is terrific. I've lost control. I have no choice. Mossy and our daughter is all I've got. Oh, Mossy, you're truly a goddess. Your hair, your eyes, your hands, your skin, your body. They are all the same for years. I love you and I always will. She's doing something really crazy. She's praying all day and then she's watching a whole mansion during the night. First, she broke our family scepter and she keeps the gem. Now, yesterday, she sold the gem. She told us that it's dangerous to keep it. She was talking about some strange things I don't understand. I don't care about the scepter, but let's talk about this danger tomorrow. I'm scared. Well, uh... Seems you're, uh... Having dealings with some... Woman of the woods or something. I wonder what is going on upstairs. Right, so this is the bathroom where we got the key. There's definitely moss. There's, there's, there's plants growing in the bath. But we have another key now. So it's the key for this door? Mm. No. Well, let's go upstairs. Owl's key, cockloft key, and small valuables. Candles, okay, I don't think I need candles. You know what, your snoring has been bothering me for quite some time now, so mm. kindly remain quiet. Oh, maybe it was your snoring. Either way, although I probably shouldn't knock kids out, right? You know, it's very, very uncouth of you, get. Um. Well, maybe I can get my red power back. Look at that. Right, so this is locked. Key from the library unlocks it. Okay. So apparently there's danger in here. Certainly a strange big tree growing in the house, disrupting uh, all the furniture. And 
doing what else? What else is goes on in here? There's an altar. Hmm. Well, I don't have anything to put on an altar, except the frog beast egg, that seems wrong. Right. Yes, that seems wrong. It just makes a wild frog beast appear. Of course. So, hmm. Um. I'm very much liking the actual brushwork tree here. It's given, given the... It's a very, very strong... Uh, visually, even though it's, you know, terribly low res given the uh, limitations of of brushwork in the Dark Engine, or in Drama specifically. Alright, well I have another couple of keys that I don't have doors to match. Right, so... Well, let's see if one of them comes here. Okay. It's a cockloft key. What have we got here? Bedroll, a spade, a couple of beds stood on end, <laughs> table, nothing else. Table that I'm having trouble standing on probably because it's got broken physics, but that's. Means I can walk through it. Um, I mean, surely I don't need to put a bedroll or a spade on that altar, right? That would be ridiculous. Is there really nothing in here relevant to anything? We locked up the room with nothing in it. That's that's good. Well, and the canal's key. If I go all the way downstairs to the kitchen again, it should open this door for me, right? So that's the way out when I'm done, but I'm not done. Oh, hey, wait, I just realized I got some fruit somewhere, right? Yeah, healing fruit. Let's have that for sure. All right, I'm not sure. it again. Not sure what I should be putting on the altar there. You? <laughs> Can always try. But it's probably not because it highlights as if it's something that I can actually pick up in my inventory to use on it. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Um, I could put a mine on there. Put some keys on there. Can't put loot on there. I don't think I've got anything else. All right, you can go back to bed. Unless I missed something else in the library that should should come here. I'll take another look in just a minute. You can remain on your bed. Um, library, let's just double check. So what we saw coming through the roof, of the, the ceiling of the library here was the tree roots, okay. All the literature, no, you know, it's like, it's not gonna be dice, it's not gonna be get packs of cards. It's not a flute that doesn't work. It's hairbrush, no. Bag or something, no. Is a secret door by chance? No. Um, hmm. Praying, watching over the mansion. She keep, broke this family scepter and keeps the gem. She sold the gem. Okay, so that's... We need the gem, right? We need the scepter. I don't know where the... Any part of it is, but I guess the scepter needs... Is what needs to go on? Probably what needs to go on that. Maybe. We need to find the scepter. She sold the gem. We need the whole scepter. This is not good for us. Let's check out here. Is there? Does this give me? 
perhaps a way into anywhere new or am I just going to die of uh, lack of oxygen? Well, I'll die of lack of oxygen seems less probable. It might be that this just uh, is just for the end, for the exiting the mission and nothing more, but it is also possible that uh, it gets us into a building that we could not previously get in that tells us more about maybe, maybe the person she sold the gem to or something. Or someone else with a key to some place. Oh, I can pick this lock, that's good. <laughs> oh, it gets me to someone's storeroom. Wait, what? Oh, I've got the gem. Uh, this is only a magic gem. I think there is a way to find the scepter. I should find it. Is it the gem? Yeah. Okay. I've got the magic gem. And a bunch of loot. Do I have a loot goal? 1900s. So Wait, I'm well past 1900. I'm at 2225 and it's not ticked off. Oh, I remember. Do I remember you? I don't know. But I will make sure you sleep more quietly. Do you have a key for this door that you're in front of? Or do I have to swim back? Perhaps I have to swim back. Unless you keep a key on the rafters. Doesn't look like you do. Oh, unless I can pick it. I think that's one of the exterior doors I couldn't open before. You don't have a key on your belt, do you, man? Seemingly not. Alright, you can sleep. Well, it's not like under the bed or under the desk. Well, I can go back this way, it's, as long as I remember which way I was going. I think this is just the exit, but let's keep exploring. Okay, this is just the escape through the canals. So I don't suppose this actually takes me anywhere. No point in going here. Yep, you're right, because I need the scepter first. All right. Well, I've got the gem. That's it. That's the start. With the gem, maybe the gem is what needs to go on the altar? Maybe that will reveal something. It's certainly worth a shot. Well, you know what? Maybe I should uh, use this for the screenshot. That would make it stand out a lot from uh, most missions. And uh, since it doesn't, you know, the tree would be a good screenshot, but it would be also a bit spoilerific, right? Whereas that, you know, lets you know that you can get in canals, but that's not really spoilery. <laughs> Let's try putting this magic gem on the altar and seeing what danger will arise in consequence. Hopefully something that doesn't immediately kill me. Ah, uh, well, something a ding. It would be tricky to get through here undetected. Uh oh. Wait, you're, you're the, hang on, that's, that's the same magic lady we uh, met down below and knocked out. A 
Are we in the this, this is the same house. Are we in the past? It's the kids' bedroom. The shut the shutters are closed now. Okay. Hmm. On this room? Oh, we still have the keys for it, right? Uh, I'm not quite sure why the door handle went upside down. But, you know. Guess things have changed a bit. Just a little. Guess things have changed a bit. So that's the tree, but it hasn't grown that big yet. I guess that's the same tree. Guess things have changed a bit. Yep, they have, Garrett. They certainly have. But what hasn't changed is you repeating yourself. Oh, that's where I came in from. Okay, keep the door closed to prevent sound transmission. Sure. Let's see what's going on downstairs. Check the library first, right? Oh, he's asleep at his desk. And he's using this library as a bedroom. What's he been writing? My diary. It's wonderful. My parents gave us their own home, our home, and we renovated it a little bit. I bought new wallpapers, furniture, some paintings. Our daughter Greenie is having now a small Victorian world in her room. Well, she bought some flowers. She loves nature. Yesterday she bought some sort of strange plant. The way it glows is beautiful. Mossy spends a lot of time by praying. I respect her traditions and religion. She needs it. Okay. Let's try to avoid waking anyone up because um, definitely in an odd seems to have gone back in time and I kind of would like to get back to my own time if at all possible there may not be anything in this bath and this may just be a waste of my time but it's worth checking I'm trying to be very quiet on the tile because I don't know if anyone would hear me if I made a clank. Right, what's this room? Locked. Which key was this? It's the clock left. Okay. So it's a good thing I was not dropping the key house keys, right? Um, so they haven't filled this up with so much furniture yet. They still have the same bedroll and spade though. But I don't... There seems to be nothing to do in here either. That's fine. Ground floor. Quietly. We'll check the uh, entry shortly. living room so I guess we, hmm, I guess we probably shouldn't expect too much of in the way of loot in here but what we do need is to try and find out where the scepter is or something about it right can we get out to the street no, apparently not. Mm. Mm. That's fine, that's, that's... Who knows what kind of uh, temporal confusion or paradoxical situations might result if we could get out on the street now. Well, there is valuables. They still fit in my loot sack, so... 
should maybe take them. And there is cheese. Doesn't give me any health. But worth a shot. Okay, does the canals key work? Mm. No. I don't suppose I can pick it. Right. So we're stuck in this house, that makes perfect sense. Trying to find out what is going on with Deceptor, right? Uh, steal the full scepter. I'm a little concerned about the loot objective not not ticking off, but um, it's probably fine. So I didn't see anything in here to look like I could take it. He doesn't have anything on his belt as far as I can tell. I guess we need to go back up to the top floor. Um, I didn't really explore the kids' bedroom very thoroughly. There might be something in there, but there's also very likely something in the... Well, I'll call it the tree room, right? Let's just have another look in here. Lamps. Yeah, I don't really think there's anything in here. Now. I guess things have changed a bit. So what happens if I? Oh, do I still have the magic gem? No, I don't. I guess things have changed a bit. Um, hmm. So, uh, things have changed a bit, but, um, not in a way that I understand what I'm supposed to do or how. I, Guess things have changed a bit. Carrot. If you keep saying that, uh, so then where is where would the scepter be? I don't suppose I can get back from here without the scepter, right? I, mean, I could try knocking you out, but it seems perhaps unsafe. It's not like you have the... Oh, hello. Another key from the library. Okay, so if I had dropped it, I would still be able to get into the room. That's just probably... Uh... The only significance. Well, you know, they might miss it. I might, should probably leave it, right? Carrot. Drop it gently where you found it. Well, uh, there's obviously something of significance in that room. Something I have to do. Which does not include getting stuck on the door, but you know. Guess things have changed a bit. Guess things have changed a bit. Guess have changed a bit. What do I have that I could maybe do something with? Frog beast? Who made that noise? Marcelo? Stop him! Rip arrow. This doesn't make any sense. Guess things uh, have changed a bit. Yeah, you know what, Garrett? You know what hasn't changed? I'm stuck. Uh, I'm gonna go hit the forums again. 
So this is not the room where the scepter is kept. Changed a bit. I do wonder if it's intentional that the door is up to upside down, but that doesn't matter. I don't know if the whole door is upside down or if just the uh, the door handle kind of configuration is. But uh, if we come back to. The uh, living room, which is where we first found uh, the lady, I guess. Well, the forum was saying the scepter is just hanging on the wall in here, or leaning against the wall. Oh, there it is. Yep, it is indeed. It's just I was looking from here, saw nothing. You know, come here and look. Came here and look. It's just, it is. I guess it is visible there. It's just not very visible. What the? Okay. Uh, steal a full scepter. Did I not? Did it go? Are we at a different time? In the past, or what? I mean, yeah, the house is different again. Back on the top floor. Oh, they've got uh, gas lamps now. This was the kids' room before, was it not? Huh. Okay. This is the tree room. Is this when the parents are still in the house? Wait, is this... Is that the parents there? Hang on. And... Is this the writer of the, of the uh, diary when he was much younger? Interesting. So if you're going further back into the past, this is... Uh, at least seems to be cause to worry, to wonder when one might get back to one's own time. Well, the bathroom still seems to be the bathroom. Very rich marble. But um, probably nothing I need in here. Oh, there's more people, there's a veritable crowd. Alrighty then. We have the room at the other end here, which was. Lady Mossy's room, right? This was the room where we first... Oh no, this was the... The cock off. This is just the storage for all this stuff. And the bed roll is still here, but not the shovel. Oh no, the shovel's here. It's just different, different location. So they must have been using it. What is on the ground floor? I guess we go back to the living room, ultimately. And try and find... Try and find the scepter in this timeline, since... Uh, Previous time when we weren't too successful. Well, they don't have any golden uh, goods there, but they left some coins. They appear not to have much in the way of food either. Some bread. No cheese. Imagine that as, as that's the that's the plot. You know, Garrett goes back in time and steals their food, and then goes back further in time and steals all their food again, and then goes back again. Right, well, I have a less fancy door here, but uh, nothing else really of interest in the entry. This is the uh, the room of significance. Well, I don't have the carpet. But they do have the scepter. Displayed very prominently. I wonder why the uh, 
I guess the parents, because the parents, what's important to the parents, but the son was not respecting it properly, because he just lent it against the wall next to a cabinet. Let's take it. Objective complete. We have the full scepter, we have all the loot. We do seem to be back in our own time. And uh, we knock everyone out in this timeline, so we can just go back to the kitchen. And escape by the canals. At last. I do hope uh, there are no unfortunate side effects of going back in time, eating food, and then coming back to the modern day. It would be quite... Uh, quite awkward if the food had kind of rotted in... In Garrett's stomach before it even digested, he suddenly comes up with a very violent case of food poisoning. But uh, we seem to be okay so far, so I think that's not going to happen. Let us uh, grab a breath of air, say farewell to the house, and make our escape. We did not get quite all the loot, we missed a hundred and, not quite a hundred and twenty, a hundred and something. Um, but we did find the scepter. That was a really, uh, well that was an interesting take, the vertical contest, the vertical. We were travelling more on a, a time dimension I think than a vertical space direction, but uh, up and down those ropes for the windows was, was at least somewhat vertical. Alright, well thanks very much for watching, and I hope you'll join me here for the next mission. Uh, okay, nope. I'm gonna have to edit some stuff out, because this is missing the, uh, this flag, the STR, I think it is, that, um, tells the game what missions to load when, and it's, so it's just loaded the stock ones. Let's fix that. Uh, using Dark Loader, of course, um, it does it itself. Strings miss flag, yeah. Let's just make sure that's... Lady Mossy has missed 20, and this is skip everything no briefing, no loadout, I suppose. Is no loadouts correct? I don't know. Don't know for sure. Um, let's just try it with the loadout first and see if there is a loadout. The briefing is obviously easy to see if the files are there, which they're not. Load out um, if there is a shop. Yeah, there is no load out. There's nothing for sale. Okay. Usually the case, and if they don't put it in, it's almost certainly the case, but I just thought I would check. Well, we still got the recording going. So let's begin. Alright, there's a door, it doesn't seem to open there, but it does highlight. Flare. Uh, okay, we, we seem to have some scripting problems, I think. Because the door's not opening. Hmm. I'm guessing this needs an OSM. We've got some lighting problems too. That's that's interesting. Yeah. All right. 
Uh, quit. Okay, this mission is not well packaged. That happens with old missions. Dark Loader would patch over those, and I think New Dark Loader and Angel Loader will generally also patch over them. Um, is this version of Dromid usable? No, it's not going to be configured properly, but it might run. It should run, right? Uh, well, kind of. No menu. And, uh, makes it hard to load a file. Yeah, uh, let's not do that. Let's, uh, check in my other. Trumpet install, which unfortunately comes up on the wrong screen, but. Although I say, I say that. When I was using it. Uh, on stream a little bit ago to load a mission I forgot that I can actually just move it it's just the title bar it's just too big to fit on screen because drama is weird and if you pick the exact right size for it it's just sitting up above the um, taskbar but it only works properly at certain window sizes which is you know weird and quirky uh, right. Tough night dot cam. What? So oh, it's the wrong, wrong directory. Yeah, let's go, to Lady Mossy. And if we check the log, hmm, convict Archer and Jen all seem to be there. Uh, I can't open the chest. Sorry, the game opened on the wrong window there because it's probably config is still probably a little retro. Um, that chest should open, right? That foot locker. Well, it's locked. It's pickable. It uh, contains. A rope arrow. Oh, maybe there's just a, maybe there's just a sound problem in this room because it's just not making the lock sound. Oh, it's got the wrong sound scheme on it. That's weird. And then these are pickable too. No. Odd. Um. What's the story with these doors then? It's locked. It's not pickable. I can't see a key. Oh, that one doesn't even go anywhere. That just goes out of. That one goes somewhere. First one just goes into the void. This is locked, but it doesn't have any key info. Does it have any links? No. How's that supposed to open then? Um, hmm. I'm a little confused about what's, uh, oh, this is wood, so we can rope out our way out. Okay. All right. I think I've just, the lack of sound made me think the scripting was broken, because if you haven't, if it hasn't loaded scripts properly, it will, um, sounds will play... Chests won't open, doors won't open, you know. 
So it's all in the standard door script and sometimes... Well, we'd already seen the mission wasn't packaged fully properly. Alright. Let's do this once again. Good thing I can easily make mark points in these to edit. To find the stuff again. Um, I shouldn't have been talking then, because I need to make it connect. Alright, I must try to get a full scepter. My Passer needs it in one piece, not just a jewel of it. This is a big mansion, steal 1900 loot. When everything's done, escape through the canals.